Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Block of Smiles here. If today is your first time of viewing my channel, I ask that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you get to see it first. Also, I want to thank everyone that has subscribed so far to my channel, and I'm glad that you are all receiving the indicators as I promised. I said in my last video that I started this out of a passion to help others to save their money from buying indicators that they can get for free. Or rather they use that money, fund their life account and practice with these indicators that I'm giving out for free on demo. Build a confidence then you can now use that money you would have used to buy indicators and trade and make a little money for yourself. For boom and crash and other volatility pairs, these indicators work perfectly for all of them. But I personally enjoy trading boom and crash. And that's why most of my videos are on boom and crash. But these indicators work perfectly for all other pairs. So today I'm going to take you all through a step-by-step -step process on how to install these indicators. Some of you have gotten back to me requesting that I make a video. I think the last one I did was a bit short. But this time around I'm going to make one step by step so that you see how I pick and drop, how I pick and drop the indicators and then how to set up and if there's still time I'll also show you what I look out for before I take my trades. So once again thank you and welcome to my channel. So ideally when I send you the indicators it's always in a zip file like this. So what I need of you to do is just right click, scroll down, you see extract file here. You see extract files, you see extract here. So just click on that and all the files will be extracted here into another folder. Okay, so now I've made it simpler on like the first version, the, the, the tools were started. I know. But now I've rearranged them into a folder. So now you click on this folder. We have um, two other folders. Okay. And these two other folders, one of them are named it put into indicator folder. The second one I've labeled it put into template folder. Okay. So now what you do. Of course, this is my disclaimer. Okay, so I have a disclaimer that I give out as well for you to read and see the instructions and everything. So this is, by the way, when you, you want to read, you read that. Okay, so um, what you should do first is click on the indicator folder. Okay, and then copy. Select all, you can do that by clicking Ctrl C and A. Okay, these are the indicators, I have nothing to hide. So, you now right click like this, and then you go to your MT5. Okay, so now your MT5, you go to, let me, um, Ctrl N, Ctrl N. So that there will be much space, okay. So now you go to file, okay, and then you click on open data folder. When you open on open data folder, you go to MQ5, MQL5, you go to indicators, okay. So now you right click and then you paste all the tools there. I already have these tools there, so. I that's why it's giving me this notification. So I'm just going to don't copy, but you should paste all in there. 
okay so now this is done you click here and go back now you go back to the original file this and then you go back as well and click on put into template folder these are the templates are giving you i have um three templates you copy okay as well and then just the same process you copy then you go here now for this unlike the mt4 where you have an the indicator and the template folder once you go into your mt4 for this the template folder is hidden in the or can be found in the profile okay the profile folder so when you click on the profile folder you see template you now click on it okay these are templates i have so you right click and then you paste i don't need to paste because i already have them so i'm not copying them then you now close okay you close close then you close your mt5 please listen well for these tools to sync to come effective to become effective and start working you need to close your mt5 which i know with our experience trading mt4 most of us are traders you should know that that is what you should do then you now restart it so when you restart it opens okay then you have your raw file your raw um, um, um let's go back to market watch okay so let's see let me hide all these and leave this to my trash because we are the training test of it so let me close this let me close this okay i have a law or a rule i follow okay before i kind of pick trades on boom and crash i go to the m15 time frame to check what the trend is that's a personal way of doing my thing i'm not saying you should do it but if you want to find it it's cool it's just a way of saving myself from the unknown of course at times you can do all you do but still you have things not going your way so now let's go to template you right click on your screen you know we use the one minute time frame so that's why i took it to one minute so you go to load template then uh, that's uh, your template there you click okay then your colors may be different from mine because i had someone asking me for a particular color he's not having it and i told him you just you just need to go to your settings and change the colors okay so i go to the crash as well i go to my templates i load and then i have my indicator then i upload it i have i mean your templates i have a lot of templates because i play around a lot with my indicators so feel free to play along with your indicators as well you know it mustn't be exactly like mine you could end up doing more better with your settings than i do with mine so now i have boom i have crash so first thing i like i said i do is go to my mp3 i have a, a naked chart there so telling me how the trend is so i normally expect for boom since it's a downtrend I always expect price to be down down at beneath this ema 13 i have an ema 13 there and also my tbi also should let me know the direction as well the same thing i do for for boom as well okay so now i come here these tools are these are the tools i have nothing to hide i have my timer that is it I have the supply and demand this is it i have the vulture dot this is it the dot, vulture dot normally they i think the default is yellow and white i changed mine to this and also for that i changed this from nine because i noticed the nine delays a bit by the time 
I get to get an alert and go in at times you are caught up in the spike. So it's not always, but at times it happens. So I, t I took mine to three, okay? So you could change yours or you could leave it as the default. Then um, um, that's that. I have this, I have this, this, this. These are relatively what I have, okay? Then um, I close. So now, when I get an alert, okay, I, first of all, because I've already, I've checked the 15 minutes and I have an idea of what's happening. So, I get an alert, I don't just jump into the market. I don't do that. And I'll advise you don't also do that. If you want, you could also add an EMA, where is it? You can add EMA 9 or 10, whatever you could add. Okay. And then that could also be like a guide if you like. So, Personally, if I get an alert, I wait for price to go beneath this EMA line. Okay, then I go in for a maximum of two or three candles on the M1 time frame. If you want to go for more than more than one minute, um, more than two or three minutes, you are free to. But personally, I go for just two or three candles per time and then I'm out. But you could go for five. It all depends on your personal preference. So the next thing also is like I said, um you always wait after there's a crash. You get an alert, you do have your analysis before you enter. This video is about how to install these indicators. But if we are fortunate to get an alert telling us to buy or sell. Maybe I'll take a trade for you to see how I take my trades. So um, currently we've gotten a boom alert on the M1 telling us to sell. So let's see what's happening on the M1. Okay, so yeah, we are having price yet to go beneath this candle. Let me make it bolder so you can all see. So I'm waiting for price to go beneath this EMA. When price goes beneath it, then I'll just go for a maximum of two or three candles. And I also use a very small lot size. I don't go for big lot sizes. So in case something goes wrong, you can still survive a bit. Okay. So we are still Okay, you can see that crash is saying sell, so it means we've gotten a crash on the sell as we are having this. Yes, we've gotten a spike. We've gotten a spike. So this is why you have to do your checks very well before you go into the market. So now this I'm waiting for this to form underneath this EMA, then I would take a trade for maximum of two or three candles and then we call it uh, we end this video I don't want it to be too long I'm just responding to requests of people who are asking for a step-by-step -step process on how I install these indicators and use them so let's uh, let's just wait and then um, because you need to be patient I'm very patient like I said I don't just enter trades by heart so now I'm taking this trade using a 0 0.45 lot and hoping because I've done my checks well on M15 I have price underneath the EMA 13 and it's selling so at least I know I'm safe so even if I should be caught up in a spike now I'll let it run because on M15, I'm in a downtrend, and boom is a downtrend. So whatever you're seeing now is the same process you take for crash. Okay, so let's um, watch and see how this turns out. But I'll, I'll, I'll end this video soon. I'll end this video soon. I don't want it to be too long. So let's say in the next, once my first candle is done, I'll be out.